It's so good to be with you today. Uh, today's passage of scripture in the discipline book that we have been using together continues on in Jeremiah chapter 33, where Pastor Hale preached from or shared from yesterday in his devotional message. So we'll have a little bit of a continuation. Well, the prophet Jeremiah was preaching and prophesying during a time of Babylonian exile. The Israelites were held captive. They were under Assyrian and Babylonian rule. It was a a difficult, dark time for the Israelites. It didn't feel as if they were their own people. They didn't have a leader. They were held captive. They were um, not able to live the way God intended them to live. So Jeremiah comes on the scene and he's prophesying in the here and the now for the people of Israel to say, to hear, for them to hear that a better day was coming, a day of righteousness, a day of hope, a better future for God's people was in store. The people needed to hear that where they were right then at that moment. The prophet Jeremiah was also prophesying the coming of Jesus, the one who would bring righteousness and truth and justice to us. Jesus would fulfill all of that in one person for all time to come. So therefore, Jeremiah was also speaking to and prophesying for future generations, for us today, uh, prophesying that we would know a better day, a brighter hope, a better future for us, that we might know a time where God's righteousness would be lived out, God's truth and God's justice would be lived out. I want us to look also at tomorrow's passage of scripture. It's from Psalm 25, such beautiful words in there. Um, it says, make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. The, the psalmist encourages us to live in covenant with God. And by living in covenant with God, we can be part of God's promise for righteousness and truth and justice in the here and now for us today. It's hard to believe that Advent is just around the corner, but Advent is a time of preparation for us, preparing our hearts for the coming of Jesus. I hope that you'll ponder this Advent, how you can grow closer, how you can allow God to teach us his ways, how we can learn to live in better covenant with him, how we can be a greater part of God's promise for righteousness and truth and justice in the here and now.